Welcome back to NG! It's time to finally delve deeper into Yakumo Moroku's house and figure out just get this, what's going on in there. Go figure. We're gonna get to the most fucked up part on Friday the 13th. Eh. Someone's already here! Am I getting pre-haunted? Don't look. Whatever you do, don't look. It's... Uh, a ghost? <laughs> <sighs> Even I'm starting to believe in ghosts. And... We see on the floor... There's a woman in my apartment! Uh, it's just, it's, it's oh. just Rose. Hi! What do you want? I see you let yourself in. How do you even know where I live? Oh, I followed you here last night. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, do you want to know what kind of books I read? Do you want to know what kind of music I listen to? Uh, there, 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 there's my cactus over there. His name's, uh, Cacti. Don't talk to him, though. He's a bit of a prick. He's got a bit of a barbed personality. Still a little green, though. He's working on it. But, uh, he's really into the pot right now. Filled with a nice, moist center. So she's trying to figure out what my blood matree is. Like, yeah, it's a sixth sense, but my sixth sense is like really, really good. So it might just be basically that, but there's like a focus to it as well. So I've really honed my sixth sense oh my because God. I see dead people. I was about to say, I see blood people. <laughs> people made of blood. Oh my god, Bond is Bruce Willis! No! <laughs> and I've, I've been Haley Joel Osment this whole time! I bet you Bruce Willis would totally play this part if given the if given the idea. See, I don't hate him as much as most other people do, but I would not let M. Night Shyamalan direct a Spirit Hunter movie. Oh my god. My toast fell jelly down. Kubitaro, no! Or, excuse me, the proper pronunciation. Kubitaru. Kubitaro. So I don't know anything about my dad. My mom was basically penniless. Soka. So I don't really have any kind of spiritual prowess for my blood tree. It just sort of happened. Ong. Zucko. Last airbender sucks. Okay, I'm off yeah. that topic. <laughs> yeah. Ho oh, ho ho! Ooh! Oh ho ho! I think I know who that dude is! Like defending a spirit's attacks the plastic sheet and broken umbrella, it's Yo! What hell kind of idiot is that? That Jeez. would be, of course, the real Slim Shady from Deathmark! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marshall Mathers, you returned to save us. He is sponsoring Rose's uh, expeditions to go figure out all the, what's going on with the spirit hunters here and, you know, looking into Kakiya's game, so. Yeah. Awesome! Yes. Like, yes. It, in fact... The last, the last three tenants, just... As you know, it is me. Then you just hang yourself. 
So she senses an extremely ominous presence in my apartment. Of course she does. It's about every night I go to bed. I almost died once. Every single spirit has haunted you at your home. He's just playing it up. He's like, yeah, I almost died. You know, just, just once, though. This is just the one time. Aw, N-Double, you're trying to impress me. Well, you're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> that expression with that face. Yeah, but we have to draw more art, and I don't want to do that. You know that response where she just says, maybe you should move out? That has the biggest vibe of, you know, places in hurricane locations. They should just move. That is such an asshole thing to say. Eh, Natsumi! Hey, long time no speak. And look, for you, it's a uh, long time no smile. Eh. That's so sad. A new detective? Jesus. Ugh. God, depression's a bitch. Um... I'm glad... I can... I'm glad NG doesn't just brush off the fact that yeah, Aunt Natsumi is extremely depressed, and they don't just, like, abandon her plotline until, like, the very end. No, they keep it going. Well, yeah, I mean, we're using her bar, and we use her notes and all that. She's, she's an important character in all this. Well, she'll, she'll be okay, you know. Everything will be fine once we find Ami. She's keeping it together. You do Mahjong too? What the hell's wrong with you? I just love gambling. I almost didn't tell you. That was a bit of a gamble on my part. Ha 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 ho! You're such a card. A doctor? Maruku went from a doctor to an author? I don't like that. See, I'm getting all these bad ideas. And I don't want it to be right. Well, keep getting those bad ideas. I'm sure none of them are right. Well, you told me to think outside the box, and I'm starting to think... very outside the box, and it's... it's making me hate my ideas. You see, you're still on the same continent as the box. Maybe you should go, like, travel to, you know, across the ocean. I don't know, I'm starting to get a vibe that it, I kind of know what's going on. Fuck! So no. it's a bunch of girls. Great! No! I hate it. I hate it so much I'm going to crack this open because, yeah, we're going to need some extra energy. Crack open a cold with the girls he kidnaps. Ah! Well, that just sounds seedy. I don't like it. Alright, so, uh, 79, Dark Fairy Tales, Gets Horror Collection, new popular author at age 27, uh, buh, 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 last work, Old Bamboo Cutter's Dream about Princess Kaguya. Oh, hey! Sounds oh, familiar. hey. Let's play! Oh, here we are again. Excellent. Finally, let's get some progress. Let's move on. Yep. We're going to get plenty of progress today. Let's move on. Same plan as yesterday.
don't have a choice. Okay, uh, can we take Bond this time? So, yeah, that's kind of weird. There's only three rooms. It had a living room, an entrance hall, and a bedroom, but... Yes. There's a, Where's the second... We need stairs to go to the second yes. floor. Yes! Look at that. That is a huge attic. We need stairs. Doesn't necessarily have... It doesn't have to be stairs. It could be a ladder somewhere, but there's got to be some way to get to the second floor. And that's basically uh, the gist of what we're doing today. We're going to see if we can find some way to get to the second floor. Uh, no time to waste. Let's get to it. Let's just jump right in and get yelled at. So today we're going with Bond. Yes. All right, UDJ, let's head in. Rose, you stay there. Myself and an Ultra Director Jester will head inside. All right, let's go. I'm NWA, by the way. What's up? Let's go. Well, never Time mind. Time to go. Police are coming. <laughs> that was so Actually, fast. This is D-Man 6. Oh, really? Repeatedly hurry the movement of the monster that moves without rest. What the fuck does that mean? Good question. You know, I just realized, if you say D-Man's name fast enough, it almost sounds like demon. Hmm. Did I fucking call that? You're here to the living room. Damn it. Goddamn phone call! Operator, can I help you? That must have been a telemarketer. <laughs> Turns out it's N double in his in his phone. <laughs> He's uh you know, calling the residents here. So move the long hand forward. Move the long hand forward. What? Move the long hand forward. How the hell did and you And there's know our that? D card. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, uh let's see. Emails sent by the devil. If you read them, you'll kill someone. Some murderers have mentioned in this urban legend when interrogated, the motives for the murders are unknown as the attackers claim to be tempted by an evil spirit. In some cases, the victim and killer never met. The only thing coming in each case were the mention of the devil. No criteria of the emails were ever found, and no one remembered the context exactly except for the subject line. It was that ex detective guy who told me about the cases, though they came from a police officer he knew. Luckily for me, this was the exact case. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I go too on, fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, find the center, and, uh, devil mail, subject line, what do you think was inside? Endless string of four letters, Lisa. It's like seeing an AI with that name. Is that important right now, Lisa? familiar? It was a case for Mr. K. I think there was a, uh, a chapter of Spirit Hunter that we missed, because it was, like, Japan only. It was, like, ah. uh, Deathmark Blue Note or something like that. Blue chapter. It, it, uh, featured the characters of Deathmark with Rosé, actually. Oh. So do you think it could have been, like, one of those radio dramas that, for some reason, has full context and isn't a spinoff? Um... Try to figure it out here. Well, it's... It... Either way, there's something that's stuck behind the cabinet... This is why we need Bond and his big, muscly self. Seriously? That's the only reason we bring him? It's fucking heavy. Well, alright, alright, I guess. Yay! Thank you, Bond. The Mon. Yeah, it's heavy. Well, it's made of solid oak. Believe it or not, Bon, things that were made back in the day were sturdy as hell. So 
So what dropped out? It's D card seven. It's a cassette tape. No. Ooh. No. Yeah. No. Well. No. Uh, before we before we go over there, let's take a look at the fruit basket here. Old smelly black dried fruit. Ew. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that sounds terrible. Ah, oh, don't touch it. I, oh, it is no! a good thing he is wearing gloves. Ugh, gross. Oh no. No. Alright. Let's put the tape in. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you take the tape from yesterday? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, new battery, and new tape. Let's put the tape in and see what we got. Man, I don't want to be creeped out. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this tape. Oh. I guess it's nothing. It's spinning, but there's nothing on it. Ah! <laughs> Damn this phone! Excuse me! Oh, that's how you listen to this tape. So you answer the phone and the sound from the tape comes out of the phone. Can you imagine you put a tape into a player then someone calls you with the song you're listening to? <laughs> God, that would suck. <sighs> I can't believe ghosts have resorted to crank calling as, as a part of their haunting. Yeah, we're just, we're just on crank anchors again, aren't we? Hello? Mush mushy. Oh my god, I was right! Don't like that. Nope. Don't like that. Ain't that. that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. I don't like that. No, thank you. <laughs> Shit. I don't like the red question mark at the end of girl's voice. That's really something. Uh, excuse me for one quick second. <clears throat> I have my head in my hand, dude. Huh. So let me see if I can get the record straight. Hi, I want to be a doctor. Hey, look at those flexible girls. Let's try taking their limbs off and see how they move. With the evidence that's presented to us, that seems like a likely theory, but, you know, Fuck! St st still got, you know, a little under an hour left, so let's, uh, let's keep on trucking, everybody. Or maybe, you know, you said it, it was more fucked up than usual, it's like, let's see how prettier you are without your legs or your arms. This way, you can't get away. Uh, ah! Hi. Hi. May I help you? You're a duck. Oh. Scenario just got worse.
it's a uh, bird, d d dick, um. Hello, little duck. Ooh, there's blood. That might be blood. Uh, okay, so, touch. No, don't touch the blood, dude. Uh, okay, so here's where I think the localization kind of stumbled a little bit, or they hit, like, a roadblock. Mm-hmm. What's was saying Famish? What the hell kind of a name is Famish? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Is it just that one line, or does... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was about to say, does that ruin the entire scenario? Okay, if it's just that one line, then I think it can be swiftly forgiven. Like, like maybe a, an unusual, uncommon word for hungry, and he didn't recognize it, but famish is a pretty uh, common word that we know by, you know, third grade. Yes. So, uh, here's dried up fruit! You want a banana? <laughs> oh, I guess you do. So now we got a pheasant mask. Okay, bye. So what we do, there's a nail on this board. We take the mask that we just got, and we just hang it up there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is that open up the oh. stair? Yep. Stairs. Sure enough. God, I, I never realized this house was going to become a Zelda dungeon. He's secretly a duck. Someone who's possessed and someone who's paranoid. So the guy who built this is definitely deranged I mean like you really like you really need a confirmation for that anyway <laughs> maybe he thought the ballet dancers were actual ducks and he's like I gotta find out okay our only way is forward it looks like Who's up there? Well, probably nothing. Is that a duck? What? Uh -oh. oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, this is the PT chapter. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, I really hope we don't find a fetus around here. Now we already dealt with the fetuses with the, with the Hiroshima woman. That's true. So this must be an entirely new area. God, that would get confusing. Hi, yeah, I put a hallway connecting the first part of my house to the second part of my house. Plot twist, though, they're exactly the same. So we came from the door at the front entrance, so what if we leave? Will we go back through the hallway again? Um. Uh, hmm. We better not be I mean, trapped if, in here. If I go into the next room and I see a bunch of eyeballs and picture frames, we got an issue. And thankfully, we're outside. All right. So we're going through like layers of t 
time or space or something. I like very it. Very spooky, very supernatural. Yeah. It's time to figure out where these girls are going through parallel worlds. That's... Something has changed in the house now. <laughs> that is the thing that makes the most sense, yes. A time paradox. Did we experience that in Deathmark? Um... No, I don't think so. First case. No. Yeah, no, we didn't. Okay. Cool, new content. Speaking of new, it's time to bring Rose in. I need you to care for the puppet we found in the bedroom. Mondainai. All right, back in. Let's check out level two. I can't wait till we get to fight a monster and gain some experience points so we can become a better spirit hunter. So first we'll go to the bedroom. Nothing here. Someone... Messing with the tapes? What's going on over there? Play. This is the A tape. Oh, no. Oh, we've reached the beginning of the alphabet. We got T, we got H, we got A. Then we got the... Fa. Uh, the N-O-S tapes afterwards. Oh my god, the Infinity Cassette Tapes! Lovely. Give me back my body parts. They're mine. Oh, so uh, no. Somebody's no. hacking off limbs! I don't like it, no. Stop it! Don't do that! Don't worry, I can fix your limbs. Here, I knew you always wanted to be a puppet. Well, apparently he's pretty bad at it. Like, doctor, I scraped my knee. Well, time to cut it off. Is amputation your only answer for everything? Did we already listen to H? Yeah. No, that's that's the one we tried, and then we got a phone call. Oh, we're done here. Well, it's in the living room now. Oh. Hello. Uh, hey. How many of you are there? More blood. So you know what that means. <laughs> Fuck me. How many victims? We'll just say too many. One is too many, you know. I'm just thinking if all these girls died because of this maniac. I don't like it. I don't Dude. like it. Yeah, I don't like that either. 
I do not like this. Cold mom. Ah, oh, yeah, cold mother. That's a that's a type of gin, right? Mmm. Get some good cold mother on the rocks. Mmm. Okay, so we take the doll, pick it up, uh, and put you in the hand warmer. Yeah, definitely feels that way. Slowly but surely, and double hears the cracking of his own knees. So I assume, back to the bedroom, put it in bed. Good call. Good night, doll. Let me cover you up. <laughs> she won't be cold in that. You take her over to the boombox and start stuffing her body into the boombox. She won't be cold if I play some hot, tasty beats! There. So, uh... How's that, huh? Hmm. Oh, he... Still said the same thing. So maybe we took care of the cold part, but now we need the mom part. And this is why we brought, we brought Rosé in. That's hilarious. <laughs> you called it earlier. Yes! We brought in Rosé so she can act motherly towards the poor, sick, dying doll child. So, uh, yeah, get to it. First, uh, let's see if... Let's, let's try playing H. Fuck no. That eh, doesn't play. And the phone doesn't ring. No point in that. Okay. Just to show that off. Hey, Rosé. Excuse me, doll child, I brought you a mom. No one's gonna know. To, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Bond's not here, so he's not gonna write about this shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not recording anything. I don't even know how to work a camera. So. I'm just thinking. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna snap a picture of you acting like a, you know, a, a mother, and post it to all my socials. Your reputation's ruined. That's fine. I wasn't asking you for anything more than that. Hey, there we go. You have soothed the dead girl. Thanks. Oh! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop! Ah! Well, now that we got the mask, we can put it on this panel. I don't know if I want to now. <laughs> uh, there we go. 
Aha! All right. Back in. How many houses are in this house? Well, he's a very successful author. He probably has several. Ah, yes, I want you to build it so that my house is inside my house is inside my house. God damn it. And there we go. <laughs> so, in order to get to this guy's torture dungeon, he, did he have to do this too, or did he find, like, the dev exit? Or is the ghost doing this? No, well... Huh? Huh? What? Bon? Say you? Bon? Alright, what's going on here? Do you, uh... Do you see anything, Bon? See, open up the mail. It's a letter with a couple words. It says, Get out. Alright, I'm done for the day. Alright, well, what's in the mailbox? Oh! It's. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Oh, no! No! Oh no! Oh no! Another tape. Well, first off, Bond, we're gonna need you for the next doll. Really? Yep. Man, we gotta listen to that tape, and I don't really want to. Yeah, we gotta listen to the tape. I don't want to listen to the tape, though. Gotta listen to the tape. It's bad! You have to listen to the tape or we'll die. Everything about these tapes are bad. Yes, they are. <sighs> no, no. <laughs> Hmm, so cool. Give it back. <laughs> I don't want to imagine. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough. So cool. Yeah. Take our time. <laughs> no. 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 You finally understand? Ah, okay. He's doing something bad to these girls. God. So, what's his objective for cutting off their arms and legs? I mean, I've seen enough Criminal Minds. Is he is he psychotic? Is he a, is he a psychopath? A serial killer? I don't think so. I mean, I'm trying to create a daughter of my own. It just needs human arms and legs. That sounds too hokey. Too mainstream horror. Can't can't be that. Can't be you, that. You know. When I let's played Corpse Party, I really hated what I heard a lot hey. of the time. This is going a bit too far. 
like, hey, man, we have to do this or we'll die. You heard you heard Kakuya. We, we got to do the screaming uh-huh. author game or we'll die. Uh-huh. So what's this one's problem? <laughs> My arms are cut off. Well, no shit. You were just talking about corpse party. I don't think you want to go to school, hun. I I might actually hate you after this. <laughs> That's fine. Oh no. Here you go. I've got a uniform for you. So if you think that this game is just being, uh, you know, nasty and vulgar for vulgarity's sake, why is he doing this? Maybe he used to be a school teacher. I don't know. The game will tell you why he's doing this. In this and episode? It... No, not this episode. Damn it. Okay. We will eventually find out why he did this. It's not It's not just like, you know, Hi, I see terrible, you know, just feel bad. No, this is... There's a reason for everything. Cute socks. Cute socks. I'm not going to take a corpse doll and bring her to a to an actual school, but... Alright, check it. You sit down right there. Mm-hmm. Just, just sit down. Put your hands on your on, on your legs. Just yo, Bond's gonna be the teacher. Bond sensei. <laughs> okay, cool. We're in class now. Ooh, ooh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fourteen ninety two. Well, wasn't Christopher Columbus born in America? I mean, he made all those great Home Alone movies. And the first two Harry Potter films. He did that? Yeah, just the oh. first two, though. Huh. And then they got Alfonso Cuaron to do the third one. <laughs> I, I love <laughs> Alfonso. He's, he's one of my favorite directors. Children of Men, Gravity, Ah. Oh. Detention. <laughs> I know how to deal with unruly students. That worked? What kind of school do you go to, man? <laughs> but this is why we needed Bond, because he had the idea of, hey, I'll be a teacher. Bond's yeah. face just said it all. <laughs> Like the mask falls off, he goes, ah, ah. I got a teaching license from his college days, so that was like, what, 30, 40 years ago? Damn it, I was just about to say it expired 30 years ago. Oh, what else is here? And a, vi- a tape. Shoes! Oh, shoes. All right, well, got a mask, got a place to hang the mask. Let's hang the mask on the place. So, I don't know how many people would actually be worried that this is trying to be, like, dark and vulgar for darkness and vulgarity's sake. You can tell when a game or a piece of media is trying too hard. Yeah. This ain't trying too hard. It's just being really fucked up. It's not fucked up just for obscenity's sake. Yes. I'm not gonna break any, you know, obscenity laws or anything. But now we need Rosé. I, I, I don't know, we're pretty damn close! Shit's getting illegal. Yikes. But it's all for a reason. Every, every single terrible thing that we're seeing today is all adding up to something. But it's never going to be a good reason. 
Duh! Well, we found the murder room. I need to get into Doctor University, that's why I had to practice on all of you girls! Don't touch it, dude. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't want to uh, know what happens you, here. You don't need to. Okay. But. Uh-oh. 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 Up above. I think, I think the screaming author knows we're home. I mean, we've only been here for like a grand total of three hours. Oh, great! Okay, so... What what should we do? We... Uh, fall to the floor! Okay, fall to the floor! Oh shit, I found the blood state. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> ah! I'm getting a vision here, no! Is he feeding a bird? Gah! Calling out to each other. What does what does that mean? Um, I don't know. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, Play my ringtone. Rose, scream right now. Because <laughs> you sound like a crane. It's like I don't know. I have an image to upload. You're, you're not gonna have an image if you don't scream right now. Be the rose bird you were always born to be! Ah, uh, I guess I. But. Do we live? Oh. So that is why we needed uh, Rosé for this, so she could do her bird scream. So that's a beginner's trap. Oh, there's plenty of them. Hmm. So we're saved. Good job, you old bird. Made it. Good job. I was wondering when something was going to happen. Which means oh, good. That the, the liquors are gone. No, nah, she just uh, blew out her vocal cords. Oh, so that was a one-time thing. Coke you? Pepsi me. Oh, that... Okay. I know what she's talking about. Do keep that in mind. Please embrace knowledge. Well, back to the investigation. We don't have that much time left.
Oh, now there's three of them. Great. Just what we needed. That tells me that this might be the final threshold. And time's up. No! Time's really? up. Really? Yep. Really? Yeah, really. No, come on. Yes, sir, for really real, that's it for tonight. <sighs> All right. She, she comes in like, you yeah. <laughs> This brat had me scream like a bird for a little while, and I threw out my entire vocal cords. I can't. <coughs> You've ruined my image, you little brat. <coughs> oh, trust me, honey. Your image was ruined the moment you met me. You know, this is actually the first chapter where we haven't seen the ghost first. No, we haven't. You hear I kind of like it. Oh yeah, totally you can hear it. hear it. Part bird doctor. You know, fascinating isn't the word I would use. Sorry, what? She calls the tapes fascinating. Very knowledgeable, he sounded like a crackpot. He didn't sound like crazy, he sounded very calm and collected. That's either deep psychosis or he knew what he was doing. So was he actually dismembering and remembering? I don't know, but we gotta get up to that second floor if we want to figure out what the hell's going on here. Be a deer and go to the bookstore. Oh, great. Well, hey. Natsume might know about Yakumo Miroku. Might as well ask her. I mean, you know. I don't think she's in the mood for talk, though. Well, I am, so I'm gonna talk to her. Okay. By the way, I know I've seemed very, you know, skeeved out and feel like I don't really want to go further in the story, but I absolutely do. I gotta see what happens next. I know, it's part of the mystery. You don't see, you don't, you don't see any, you know, chopped up kids, you know, you don't see it happening. So you still keep it in the realm of good taste. But why is he doing this? That's the big the, mystery, that's the big question! The, the implications are enough to freak a normal human being out. That's my that's my favorite kind of horror. The kind of horror that makes you go ooh. Well, that's primarily Japanese horror, because American horror is all about like slashers and like gruesome murders. Brother, you've seen the wrong horror movies then. Well, I'm just saying the general demographic. So my my favorite horror film my, my favorite horror film is The Witch. Well, that one's all about subtlety. Yes, I like subtlety. I love subtlety. The crushing dread. The oppressive atmosphere. That is true horror. It's so artful. Not to say that I don't like a few slashes every now and then. Because some of them are hilarious. Some of them are kind of fun. You ever seen the Wrong Turn movies? No, I haven't. So, uh, Wrong Turn 2 is pretty fucked up. But it's it's <laughs> it's fun, though. There's a lot of really good practical makeup effects. You know, it opens up with a girl getting literally cut in half with an axe by an evil, Jesus. crazed, inbred hillbilly. But it's, 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 it's fun, it's exciting, it's pulse-pounding, it's violent, it's pretty impressive. 
and uh, had a pretty pretty decent ending, and I, I recommend it. Wrong turn five, though. Five? Yeah, they got seven now, I think. God. Wrong and turn now's... five is, uh, and all subsequent movies after three, basically, are just... Those are the ones that go beyond the realm of, ta of good taste and into obscenity. You know... I am actually very surprised that we got an eighth Saw movie. Because I could have sworn as soon as they ran that franchise into the ground and Saw 7 was a commercial failure, that they just would never come back. And then Jigsaw came out. Are you kidding? Of course they would. They just, they, they just wouldn't annualize it like they were doing. Let's take a step back and rework it. Let's see if we can make this series work again. And then Jigsaw was kind of a movie anyway. So apparently, Yakumo Moroku was a pretty good friend of our mom and Natsume. What? Yeah. Especially our mom. She was obsessed with his works. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I must exercise him. Well, whatever. Let's go home. Haunt me. Haunt me. Haunt me, haunt me, say that you'll haunt me. Spook me, spook me. Make me real scared. <sighs> Hello, D-Man. Hi. Again. More spam mail. <sighs> Number seven, feed the souls of the triplets to the monster that consumes souls. What the fuck does that mean? Alright, so, you go to the convenience store, you look in the, in the recycling bins. <laughs> really? Three coins. And we take these coins. Oh, there's multiple parts. And we take them to the photo booth. Oh my god. They're like arcade tokens. And then... Ah. There's another card. How in the hell did that work? Okay, let's see. So these and go. I made it with the Give me a name. It's called Rabbit Island. Currently inhabited the factory. Previously, the island residents numerous rabbits and travels and fishermen who are visitors are welcomed by them. One for the investigation, can find anyone who has visited the rumors spread where it came from. Official agency gave me cold shoulder. Thanks to Mr. K, the investigations have been seen in the in recent years. The only living things are around ten rabbits. We screwed up. We were stopping. The military was doing on them. We had more. The family requests to retrieve them. You know, map with X. Mr. K, grandfather always had rabbits around. Along with the worship, they realized something when they shut the map. It was a rabbit island. It was a strange attack. attack, attack, attack these islands, yeah, what you have a feeling about it. And it'd be perfectly correct. I'll tell you the source of bad feeling for now. The island was indeed there, full of rabbits. We discovered that the place fell frozen in time. Memories of horrific battles remained. Human experiments, cannibalism, atrocities beyond imagination. Oh, jeez. Okay. What is that, like, uh, group 731 or something like that? Oh! Whoa! That was cool. Do that again. <laughs> Actually, freeze frame that so I can see the secret message. Who's calling Haunt now? Haunt me. Haunt me. Haunt me. Yeah. I'm sorry, don't look at... Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I could go for a shower, I guess. Don't look, though. Yep. Oh, do I get anything to drink, maybe? I mean, it would like a cool, refreshing drink. I have to get out of the shower. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's go down to the graveyard and get some soda or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Alright, what should we get? Uh... Got... Hmm. Why green tea, semi sparkling cola, and natural water, nata de coco a lot, or iron century water? Yeah, I'll take that. That actually, yeah, actually sounds pretty good. It does. And you're really thirsty, you want to drink some Coke. That's just way too fizzy sometimes. A soft drink for softies. <laughs> uh, <yo. laughs> I believe you have the wrong number. Oh, it's a call from hell. Have you ever heard of the movie One Missed Call? No. Basically, a J horror movie where you get a. You get a missed call and a voicemail. And the voicemail is the sound you make when you die. And then later it happens. There was an American remake and it was Christ awful. <laughs> like one of those 0% of Rotten Tomatoes awful. Ooh, ouch. Came out, like, around the time that The Grudge and The Ring came out in America, and they did pretty well, and then this one came out, and it just utterly sucked. So, any ghosties here? Hello? Anybody haunting me tonight? Really tired. I'd like to get some sleep. After a shower. Nobody in here, looks like. I'm just looking for things that have changed in the background, even though I know nothing is happening. That's still here, though. Ah! What? Did I just... Yeah, it was probably no. nothing. No. There's probably nothing. Mm-hmm. A whole load of nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. You left the curtains open. Oh! Oh! Something did change! What? Don't look. Huh? No, don't oh. look. Okay, I won't look. D don't look at the screen. Okay, I won't. No, don't look at the screen. I'm not. Stop it. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking, dude. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Whatever you do. What? Wait. Don't look. Don't look. Yeah, don't look. Like that crack in the wall? If you fucking look, dude. <laughs> no, god damn it! Oh, I looked! Ow! Don't look. Those are children's handprints. No, don't. Yeah, it's built the wallpaper. Come what could it be hiding? On. Let's see. Let's tear it open. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Blocked. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. No. 
this is the insanity part. Boy, of all the oh things, of, of all the horrors that uh, NG ah! goes into, I didn't think phone anxiety would be one of them. I, I thought our cell phone was going to start ringing again, and it would have, like, been my nightmare that I explained in the last episode. So we unplug the phone. And then they send carrier pigeons. The ringing doesn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Uh, uh oh. Oh! Oh no! Uh -huh. It's here. Oh great! What now? I uh, hang up. Good idea. Destroy the phone. Start breaking your expensive $75 phone! Gah, it was a gift! Gah! Gah! But no one ever uses it because it's a landline! I have a cell phone now! Gah. I wonder how many hauntings we can actually mentally take. I think we're hitting our limit. Oh, we made it. And that looks like I smashed an Xbox One on the floor. Oh, good. I always knew you were a Sony fan. I... I am. So, and, yeah. and double, not you. You know what Spirit Hunter's not on? <laughs> uh, because nothing's on Xbox. So Xbox is gonna buy all the games and make them on there. <laughs> Surprisingly, Phil Spencer uh, paid for the entire Spirit Hunter 3. <laughs> he funded the Kickstarter? In the entire Kickstarter. Oh it's my coming goodness. to Xbox exclusively. Next time on NG, we're going to face the screaming author. See you then.